this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this ripple effect in less than 7 minutes. Let's press Shift, 8, to create a honeycomb. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. Please don't follow this yet. I need to explain something, and I'll undo shortly. It took me a while to figure out how to create a field of full hexagons, because this add-on was only creating the hollow ones. I tried modifying settings of the add-on to see if I could create a set of full hexagons, but failed. Then I found a way to just create one and use the array modifier to create a field of hexagons. But that took too much time. I thought of a way to use this add-on to create the hexagons I wanted to have, and I found a way. Please follow along. I'll show you the method that I've found. Let's reset all the values first. First, we need to press, tab, to go to edit mode, and, f, to fill. Type, 3, to face select, and select one of the hexagons. Shift, G, to select the area, and press Ctrl, I, to invert the selection. Type, X, to delete the selected faces. That's what I wanted to see, but there's more. In edit mode, type, A, to select all, and, P, to separate by loose parts. In object mode, type, M, to put them to a new collection. If we try to increase the hexagon size, the entire mesh will be affected. To change each cell size, we must use the independent origins. After that we must scale in edit mode, not object mode. Look at that. E, to extrude. That's how we create a field of hexagons, and again that took me a while to figure out. Let's select all the meshes, and make sure the left bottom mesh is highlighted like this. Control, J, to join them. We're about to add the wave modifier to the meshes, but we need to decide where the origin is going to be located. I'll move the mesh like this, and move the origin to the 3D cursor. The wave modifier will start the wave from the origin of the mesh, so the origin's relocation was needed. Let's add a set of gradient nodes as usual.
There is a ripple effect animation. In the next tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to trigger the wave modifier from the middle to create a great looking visuals. After that, I'll demonstrate how to separately move the meshes only on the Z axis to create a great looking animation. Please remember to check out the community section to see what's coming up in two days in advance. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.